M0 FXB, welcome back to the shack. Today we're tinkering with the Icom 7100. This is a shack in the box, so VHF, UHF, six meters, HF bands, and look how portable the head unit is. Now, the larger unit is down there on the floor somewhere. The microphone we're using is the HM151, which is backlit. Now, the other one of my favorites is the, so I don't know, the little brother, but the, with the bigger screen which is the ID5100, which is VHF, UHF, D-Star, but it's simultaneous receive. It's a fantastic device. Again, really portable, but quite a big screen. You wouldn't want to drop that screen. So yeah, but I, I just love these sets. If they made them black on white, like they have with the new 2730 that we have got, then um, I think that will be cool, but I would miss the white on black, you know, because I've still got my ID51 here somewhere, if I look around. And um, I, I actually still like the black and white sort of look, even though it's not perfect black and white, I still like it. So anyway, I thought I'd call through to Hubnet. If you're not familiar with Hubnet, I highly recommend you join it. You can get in via DMR, D-Star, Fusion, and of course, Analog Gateways. We're going in via my, my All-Star Node box, which is basically a box with a, a mini computer in it. Also a radio that then sends out all the radios that you've got, and you can talk to them. Now, we're not properly connected yet. This is the frequency, 434. 550 that's programmed to the radio that's in that box. So if I just key, like so, you just get a tone because we're not connected. Now I can use my my uh, computer to connect. If I just go and see if I can do it now, go go into the control panel using the IP address. I've got my keyboard here in the background. This is the control panel. If I want, I can connect. I can do an audio test. So if I click audio test, you're here. Okay, so no one's going to hear me, but unless they're testing their audio, M0 FXB audio test. Oh, get a loud beep. Playback. M0 FXB audio test. Okay, that's good audio, right? Okay, and then to connect to Hubnet, I can click Hubnet here in this special grid control panel that we've got that comes included with your G7 RPG um, All Star node, which I would say get one, not because I'm trying to sell them, it'll be the best thing that you ever add to your shack. And take me, I've got great kit here, as you know, and that's my favorite thing. But anyway, so to connect also, we can use a DTMF. So I'm pretty sure I can go, and any DTMF, whether even my Koshang, which I love, look at the clear one there, um, will do it. And they work great, yeah. That's listening to Airband at the moment, just sat on my table here. And I, it, I'll turn it up a little bit. Look at that. Did you hear that then? It just came through. That's a plane flying over. And I love the way these clear ones, you know, steal the LED lights through them. Anyway, let's dial the star 341522 on this. Um, it's been a while since I used this one. So star 341. No, it's not going to do it. So it's changed frequency. So unfortunately, I've not used DTMF on this microphone for ages. So I'll have to teach myself that one again, but that's okay. You touch the screen, back to 434550. I can click my control panel for now. 30 right. plus, 30 plus. -E okay, so we're connected, but there might be someone there already. We've got to wait a few seconds, maybe. If you think someone could be talking, wait a few minutes. Uh, and then even when we are chatting, leave count to three before you return your comment. So here goes, we'll go M0FXB calling for a contact. And you get those bips, peeps, those satisfying beeps back. Um, Andreas. <laughs> Didn't say his call sign, he should have done. Andreas, sure you have me, Mike Seven, Hotel Box from Zulu. Mike Seven Hotel Foxtrot Zulu. Yeah, nice to meet you. Sounds like you're not far from me uh, here in Western Supermare. Uh, back to you, M Zero FXB. So this would work anywhere in the world. I could talk to someone in Australia yeah, you, uh, on this. Thank you, Andrea. I just put one of those. Oh. Is it like ah? I don't know how to send the DCMF tones. Any idea? This this is what happens when you're a YouTuber. 
Um, so I miss the model of radio. Go ahead. Well, I, I don't complain. I love helping people. Zero Yasu IC nine eighty Pro. Oh yeah, very nice little set. Um, thing is, I can't remember <laughs> off the top of my head. I, I need to uh, actually watch my own video um, setting up a repeater and then I'll, I'll remember. So you could just put that into YouTube, uh, 980 uh, add repeater and it'll, and it'll go straight to the video. Go and I will look it up. No problem. I will look it up. Um, after you know today, I will look it up, and then when when we hook up again, you probably would have sorted it. But once I get asked the question, then I, I, I even I want to know, remind myself how to do it. Hopefully, you just push the if it's DTTMF, you just push the um, button and dial on the. It's got a DTMF mic, hasn't it? There might be an on off in the settings. You know, like a well, what's the word they use? An on off for the DTMF. I think they use the word. BOT or EOT for end of transmission, beginning of transmission. No problem. Thanks very much. Standing by 73. So there you go. Let's see if anyone comes back. Now, if no one comes back, we'll try and get GB3WR because that's come back online. No, so. All you do, I mean, of course, you can create a memory channel, but I'm just going to tap the screen, 144, go to 145, 600. Then we've got here, if you press the menu button until it says M2, uh, and then you go to tone. So tap the screen, just make sure your tone's on. Then hold it, and we want it to be 94.8. You turn the big knob. So that's all the right frequencies. Now, the automatic tone isn't on. Um, so we need to get the minus shift. Let's press menu again. We're looking for duplex. Yeah, there it is there, the first one. Tap it, and it's given us a minus straight away. Now I'm hoping my antenna is strong enough to uh, get it. Let's just check. Mm, maybe not. It's a shame. Let me think now. And the SWR looks good. Just check the tone frequency. 94.8, let's try it. M0FXB, calling for a contact. No, um, that's a shame, isn't it? Um, let's try GB3FI. So we'll come out of tone, tap the screen, tap it. 430925. We want a plus shift. Um, so duplex, so it says plus. 925 we want duplex so we see a plus where's the plus thing gone there i saw it then it's doing it like split shift there it is 438525 that's correct that's got the blip up so the tone must be right let's just check it it's still weak so it goes to show that that antenna that i'm using is not great yeah, it's got it. M0 FXB calling for a contact. Mike 0 Fox X3 Bravo. Still got a good SWR though. The power, you just hit there and get the power to about 20 watts. Turning the outer knob there. Yeah, so if I switch to this one, should I just switch over? So what we'll do, we'll turn this one off. I'll just put it down because I had it up high so um, um, you can see it. And then what I'm going to do, because I'm pretty sure that the other one I've got, is this one here, is up high. We need to plug a microphone into that one as well. Let's find the right microphone for it. Oh, um, one second. I'm hunting for microphones now. For my, there it is. Um, that's the HM207. Again, backlit mic. Oh, it is connected. We'll go to the sub. 
So it's a dual band of this one. Yeah, it's definitely got an antenna connected on it. Make sure, yes, it has. It always helps, doesn't it? We, um, we need a shift. So again, menu. Let's go back out completely. Until we see tone, minus. You probably can't see that. I know it's not clear. Yeah, now we just want tone on, tone, and then hold it down. Is it gonna give us the right tone? Let's find the tone frequency. I was hoping we could just hold it on that. One four. We got the tone, we got the shift. We might have to go into menu, which is quite annoying. Um, so menu. And then we're gonna go to duplex tone. There it is there. There's air band going. Repeater tone, 94.8. You need a tone to open a repeater. Back out all the way, lovely screen. M0 FXB calling for a contact. No, we're not having much luck here, are we? We're getting any contacts. Shift, tone. Mike Zero, Fox X3 Bravo calling for a contact. That's a shame, isn't it? So, anyway, worth a try. Thought I'd show you me chatting away on some of these radios. Let me just uh, try something. Okay, as soon as I bent over it, it came to life. GB3, WR. Let's flick through, see if there's any other signals there. Or someone there. Quite down. So thanks for watching. We've got BC here. 145750. M0 FXB calling for a contact. That definitely went through. It blips back at you. That was a bit quick. Back to one four four. Oh, Ooh, what is that? One four five six six zero. Is that a new gateway? Someone's pra it's like someone's practicing there. M0 FXB. No, it's not a repeat. I think someone's practicing, aren't they? Anyway, you, if you know Morse code, you understood every word of that. M0 FXB calling for a contact. There's the beeps coming back from the repeater that you open up that's on a hill called GB3 WR. Got a pen handy to write it down. Is it G6? Bravo, Bravo, Charlie, back to you, it's Andreas, M0 FXB. That's working good. Hi Andreas, it's Golf 6 Bravo, Bravo Charlie. My name is Nick, I'm roughly 40 miles away from WR in Stride, Gloucestershire, Roman. Yeah, hi Nick, good to meet you. You're not too far from me then. And I'm just on an ICOM ID 5100, I'm using my, uh, actually no, we're using WR, aren't we? Which is such good news that it's back online, back to you. And that's it, that's how you chat on ham radio. Yeah, I've got WR back on, and it's, the thing about WR is it's quite an active repeater. And all the other ones I get, like WH and Swindon, that's dead, 90% of the time. And the other one that's strong here is uh, Victor Mike in Shropshire. And that is also not very active. So WR has also been one of the best repeaters. And uh, I remember when it first came on back, back in about 1980. Back to you, G6BPC. Got my little network radio there as well, look, just there. G6 Bravo. Is it Papa Charlie? Um, BPC, I think you said. Yeah, well, I, I've all we've always been very spoiled in Western Superman. We are literally surrounded by repeaters. Um, really, the only one that I can think of that went off for a while is this one, but it's back on and booming, isn't it? And that's what I thought I'd call through. I'm, I'm literally getting it 30 plus here in Western. Uh, I'm a bit elevated. I'm not in the town centre. I'm nearer the motorway junction, but up high. So it's actually pretty good for radio. So, okay, well, thanks for the contact. I thought we'd call through. And, uh, yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? Back to you for a final from M0FXB.
Thanks for watching, having great fun. Playing radio. Playing radio. And I, I am a YouTuber, but number one, I play radio. I chat to my ham radio friends. That's number one. The YouTube thing is just me learning, not teaching, me learning. Yeah, take care. Thanks for the contact, 7-3. Oh, someone coming in there. But, you know, that, that, and that's why I always say, because we watch a lot of YouTubers, don't we? But how many of them do we actually talk to every day on the radio? And I am a YouTuber that chats on every mode, every day, whether it's analog, D-Star, digital, Hamshack hotline, you know, Zello. We've got a Zello, little cute Zello device here. Turn it up. Yeah. Or if I, oh, someone's calling me. If I'm, I always listen to Airband. I just love it. M0FXB returning. I just love hearing the planes fly over and all the tower talk. Someone did call me then. Yeah, that one going off as well. That's internet. Yeah, you're weak into me. You're weak in, but I am getting you M0 FXB, Andreas. Yeah, go again, go again. You're a bit weak in M0 FXB. So on Zello, you can have all these channels. A lot of them are... Weymouth to Western Supermare. That's a journey. Oh wow, Weymouth! Did you say Weymouth? That's a, that is a jump, isn't it? Oh, well done. Um, I can hear you. It is weak, but I can I can hear you as long as I listen carefully. Um, so very nice to make the contact across to Weymouth from Western Supermare. Back to you. That's pretty cool, isn't it? M0FXB returning, no problem at all. Excellent radio, the ICOM 52. Very nice to make the live sort of contact um, from Western to Weymouth. GB3WR's only been back on a couple of weeks, and uh, that's, that's an excellent contact, isn't it? So thank you very much. I, I'll stand by, I'm sort of calling through, and uh, but very nice to make the contact with M0 Hotel Oscar Juliet and M0FXB. Airband. Coming in, just on a rubber duck. Seven three, all the best. 